Here's another example. What we're going to try to do in a problem like this is uh, the same thing. We're going to try to rationalize the denominator. We do have a monomial down here, so that's going to be helpful to us. Uh, we have changed the game a little bit, and I'll show you how. One, we have an index that's larger than two, and also now we have variables. But the game's still going to be the same, so what we'll do is we'll figure out, first of all, where we want to go. So I want to get the cube root of something that's a perfect cube. So right now I have four here, and I would think, well, what is a multiple of four that's a perfect cube? And you may want to write these down. I wrote them down earlier in the slides, but eight is a perfect cube, and four is a multiple of eight. So I would like to get eight uh, in my radicand. In terms of my x's, right now I have two x's. I'm trying to take the cube root. Two uh, is not divisible by three, but if I give it one more and make it x cubed, then I can take the cube root of x cubed. So to do this, I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom. Uh, to multiply 4 by something to give me 8, that something's 2. And x squared times something to give me x cubed is x. So I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by the cube root of x squared. When I do that, I will get 2 cube root of 2x. My whole goal now is to go ahead and simplify this. So what I'll do is I'll look at the uh, denominator and try to simplify it. So, whoops, I'm going to change colors. So 2 cube root of 2x over uh, the cube root of 8 is 2 and the cube root of x cubed is x. Now again, to simplify our problem, we would look at those two numbers and divide both of those by the common factor. There is a common factor in this one, so we're going to divide both of those by 1. I mean by 2. That will go into it once. That will go into it once. So our answer is going to be the cube root of 2x over x. So that would be the simplified form for that nice little uh, fraction.